Today I am going to talk about one black and white movie Over the Hill to the Poor House. Over the Hill to the Poor House is a silent film released in 1920, directed by Harry F. Millard. The movie is based on the novel of the same name by George H. Plimpton. It is considered one of the earliest feature-length films and was a critical and commercial success during its time. The story revolves around Mary Thompson, played by Mary Carr, an elderly woman who lives with her alcoholic son, Jim, played by James Corrigan, and her daughter-in-law, Kate, played by George Beranger. Mary is a hard-working and kind-hearted woman who struggles to make ends meet while dealing with the challenges brought on by her son's addiction. Jim gets involved in a crime, and to avoid the authorities, he decides to leave town, leaving Mary and Kate behind. In his absence, Mary and Kate face financial difficulties and are eventually forced to sell their home. The title, Over the Hill to the Poor House, refers to the heartbreaking journey that Mary must undertake as she goes to the poorhouse to seek assistance and support. The film explores themes of poverty, family dynamics, and the challenges faced by the elderly in a society that may not always provide adequate support. It reflects the social and economic realities of the time and highlights the resilience of individuals facing adversity. Over the Hill to the Poor House was praised for its emotional depth and realistic portrayal of social issues Mary Carr's performance was particularly lauded for its sincerity and authenticity. The success of the film contributed to the growing popularity of feature-length films during the silent era.